with Lil Loaded, I always I told Vlad this. I just feel like he blew up too fast. He didn't know how to handle it. You got peer pressure, girls, everybody wants money from you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You never really know people till the money come. You, you said never that, really you know. said that last time. I, I, boy, I got that's some what, clicks off that's that. That's what I'm saying. Like, you never really know. Like, it's real. Like, you never really know until everybody, when everybody's broke. That's why rap groups never work out. When everybody's mm-hmm. broke, they got the vision. Yeah. And then when the money comes, all these different people, everybody breaks up because the money. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. some people feel like they deserve more. And then they start comparing them. And then a lot of people start thinking they could do it on their own. Yeah. You can't do it on your own. You need a team. So mm-hmm. the money really fucks up the vision of everything. So. Yeah. I heard you say uh, on a, uh, another interview that you was trying to get into pop now because you were like, man, yeah. this 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 rap thing, man. <laughs> yeah. you really done it, though. You, yeah. You've done it. I tell people, I talk to certain people, I'm not going to disclose their name, but I'll be like, man, you are, you should be like Sean. You young. I talk to the youngsters like yeah. this, not me. I say because at the end of the day, you people know you. He like, but They be like, but I can't figure it out, man. Yeah. And I'll be like, like, well, brother, you need to try. See, that's why it's good to latch on to people like you, mm-hmm. so you can learn. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you got to be special in order to build that type of relationship. Yeah, nah, that, yeah. I'm <laughs> going. I'm going to. I'm not going to leave rap alone. But I figured out. I know what type of rapper I need to start shooting for. Like, cause I I be getting people that's fresh out of jail, um, things like that, and giving them a fresh shot. But a lot of these kids aren't hustlers. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they not. They not if you look at all the winners in the rap game, the little babies, the the dub babies, the the Kodak Blacks, the NBA young boys, they're gym rats. They're always in the studio. Um, if they down to their last five hundred, they know how to turn that five hundred into twenty five hundred or hustling features. It's a different type of hustle. And I feel like a lot of people they um they rely on me and say cheese, and it's bigger than say cheese. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why Mo Three was Mo Three. That's why Yellow Beezy was Yellow Beezy because they used my platform, but then hit the strip club right after. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It matters. A lot of these people just sit and they wait for me to post them. And then after the Say Cheese post, whatever, what? we post 50 times a day. So, you know what I mean? It's bigger than just Say Cheese. And I want a lot of these kids to realize that, yes, we have a huge platform, but you still got to go out and build your street audience. No, I, I totally agree. agree 100% because a lot of times people be in our DMs be like, hey, can we come on? Can we come on? Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm very honest. I'd be like, okay. How is this venture going to benefit you and us? Because it has to benefit both of us. Exactly. If you're not out there hustling, you're not out there pushing your brand. Because y'all want to bring y'all want to bring people on y'all platform that's going to bring y'all views too. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's 50-50. Like, nobody wants to be on a platform that barely gets views. Bro, and exactly. it's a lot of work. People don't understand the work to mm-hmm. go with this, man. Exactly. At the end of the day, you can't really do this unless you got your front feet forward and you got your head yeah. on straight. You're not going to be able to be that consistent if you're not focused, bro. Yeah, so I'm I, going, not to, not to cut you off, but yeah, I'm going pop. And he, he heard him too. Is it, it, you got somebody? Oh yeah, and he's, and he's from Dallas too. And you have them signed? Yeah. Wow. Oh, and that's, um, that's I'm, dope. I'm, I'm supposed to be meeting with Lil Baby. Um, Lil Baby signed Juice World and uh, the kid Leroy. It's a lot of different people that I'm I'm a, I'm gonna I'm uh, sit this kid down with. He wow. just left the studio with Sky Storch. How wow. old is he? He's 21. 21. Dope. He's 21. He's from East Dallas. Dope. Um, and. Uh, it's a home run. Like it's it's a, it's it's something that I think about every day when I wake up. It's something I look forward to because I know it's a home run. What's different with this kid? It's really really pop, and he has he's he's like um, he he can dance like Elvis. He can move. He's <laughs> he's, he's 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 Caucasian too. Okay. That's dope. But, but he's from like East Dallas. Like he's really from. He's not mm. from uh, Garland or McKinney. He's from East, East Dallas. Dallas. Like he's from the hood. And he's not trying to be black. No, he's pop. He okay. heard his music. Just check it. No, no, no. He don't say nigga. None of that. None like, of that. That's good. Nah, like he's real Post Malone type artist. Wow. I feel like it's a it's a drought in the industry, and a new sound is 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 being developed. Wow. We just don't know where it's at. Okay, so you don't know really. I would say just explain it and tell me how you think this thing plays out you know mm-hmm. within the next say six months give me I, you, you, I feel you like got- I feel like I mean if you go back and look the last two rappers to really like change the culture was Chief Keef and 12 then you had um, then you had Young Boy in 15 then you had Kodak in 16 they changed the culture of the slang the lingo everything um, people don't even call people call young kids jit now you know what I'm saying everywhere yeah mm-hmm. um, just the lingo everything has changed and I feel like we haven't had that rapper to really change um, to bring on um, new culture wow 
And I yeah. feel like I feel like it's been a five year gap. That's why I said I feel like this year, next year is going to be a whole new five to seven new artists. That's just my opinion. That's yeah. how I look at it. Now let's get in. But the, where, oh, hold on. But where is um, mental illness is concerned? Because I know a lot of rappers they talk about how much they get affected by the things that it goes on in their mind, yeah. and that's why a lot of them end up in prison, mm -hmm. dead, committing suicide. Like your um, artist, yeah, Lil Loaded. Loaded, rest in peace. How rest in peace? How did that affect your brand? Uh, with Lil Loaded dying, that that really didn't affect me at all. Um, it really didn't. Damn, that's a great question. But people never like slandered me or anything from it. Um, Cause me and him, we he, like I was partnered in that situation, but it wasn't just me and him in oh, okay. it together. Okay, that's what I was yeah, wondering. Yeah, yeah. It was just you no, and no, him. No, 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 no. Uh, my my uh my guy Jay brought him to me. Oh, okay. And then he was like, "Do you want to be a part of it?" And I was like, "Yeah, cool." And then the Block Baby song took off, and then I went with him to certain meetings. He saw my Instagram with Epic and everything. He signed a, a huge deal. And then I just feel like with Lil Loaded, I always I told Vlad this. I just feel like he blew up too fast. He didn't know how to handle it. You got peer pressure, girls. Everybody wants money from you. Everybody wants to hang around you. You know, blowing money. All these different issues coming. Your label. You're unhappy with the label. Your girl. You're only 19. Wow. And I and all this. He signed almost a million dollar deal off his very first song he released. The very first song he released blew up. Is that 50, 60 million? He didn't even expect that. So I just felt like that, to me, that's what got the best to him. Wow. Do you think that some of these companies or labels or management should get counselors yeah, for their definitely. artists? I feel like these people don't sit down with these artists and really talk to them and see what's going on. Right. Um, I feel like labels need to start giving these kids allowances too. Stop giving these 18 year old kids a million dollars cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause when these kids get money, you feel untouchable. Right. These, you, you got money to buy guns. You could pay anybody to do anything. Now you feel like you could say anything because you have money and you have protection. I feel like labels need to start giving these kids an allowance. If you, if it's a million dollar deal, pay him $10,000 a month. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I get Just it. Just so if he does yeah. blow it, he can always look forward to. But once you give an 18 year old, 16 year old kid two million dollars, you can't control him. Yeah, and but they do it. But they do it in the NFL all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the NFL this, does it all the time. Yeah, but but rap is different. Rap culture is 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 a is a alpha male yeah. culture. You gotta stick your chest out. You gotta you can't back down from from a. From conversations, you got to take every, everything head on. You're living a lie. You're a character. You're lying to your fans. You have to live up to what you rap about. Yeah. In 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 um. Everything about their life is so public. And in and in football, yeah. basketball, yes, it's true. But um, you don't have to answer to to fans. You don't have to live a character. Your real name is on the back of your jersey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's and dope. rap. You're you're this made up fiction. Mm -hmm. You're just you're you know you're rapping lies and all this Terminator yeah, music. You got to live up. You to have a to live up standard. to that. Oh, they gonna say you ain't real. Exactly. <laughs> you ain't real. Yep. Like, what? I'm yep. real, and then a man. lot of rappers are scared to really be them because then they're they're scared that they're gonna fall off because these people are insecure. Yeah, they don't like themselves. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Man, so. that's crazy, man. I just I just look at how, how the game going, man, and, and just all the stuff that's going on. When you see all the stuff that's happening with all these, from the Mo 3s, it's not just Mo 3, the Dolphin, all these, like I asked you last time, like kind of, but it's even gotten worse since yeah, it, you was it here makes before. Me wanna, it makes me want to diversify my portfolio. Yeah. The weed farm, the vintage store, I'm about to open a restaurant. Um. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.